Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Sun and Fun will not take place in 2020. EOS certifies Elixir aircraft and Thrush roars into 2020. Welcome, I'm Sophie Herlock. Today we'll be doing an episode of Airborne Unlimited instead of our normally scheduled AMA drone report in order to keep our audience updated on the current issues the aviation world is facing due to the coronavirus. With that in mind, late yesterday the decision to cancel this year's Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo was made due to concerns surrounding the pandemic. Sun and Fun President and CEO John Leanhouts posted remarks onto their website stating, We stand with our local state, and national leaders in supporting public health practices that will bring this outbreak to a halt as quickly as possible. Even now, most of our staff are working from home in compliance with social distancing directives, with those that must come in adhering to strict isolation and sanitation policies. Unfortunately, supporting these initiatives will mean that the 2020 Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo will be unable to proceed as originally planned. Regardless of the financial impact, for the safety of all, we will move our 46th event to join with the 47th in April of 2021. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Finally, a modern, affordable four-seater without compromise. Turbocharged Rotax 915IS power. 155 knot cruise, 800 nautical mile range, a thousand feet per minute climb, and all that at eight gallons per hour. Don't compromise. Check out the Sling TSI today at airplanefactory.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. It's time for today's trip around the patch. NASA assigned astronaut Shannon Walker to the first operational crewed flight of the SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft on a mission to the International Space Station. Walker will join NASA astronaut Michael Hopkins and Victor Glover Jr., as well as Soichi Noguchi of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency for a six-month expedition aboard the unique Space Laboratory. Joe Clark, founder and CEO of Aviation Partners Incorporated and chairman of the joint venture aviation partners Boeing, has passed away at the age of 78. Clark believed aviation could be a model for green innovation and founded Seattle-based Aviation Partners Incorporated in 1991 with longtime friend Dennis Washington. Today, API's Lennett winglets and split scimitar winglets are installed on a variety of business and commercial aircraft. More than 12,000 people have applied to join NASA's next class of astronauts. However, the process is just beginning for NASA's Astronaut Selection Board, which will assess the applicant's qualifications and invite the most qualified candidates to the agency's Johnson Space Center in Houston for interviews and medical tests before making a final selection. NASA expects to introduce the new astronaut candidates in summer of 2021. Spirit Airlines has suspended flights to five northeast airports in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. The affected airports include New York's LaGuardia Airport, Niagara Falls, and Plattsburgh, as well as Connecticut's Hartford Airport and Newark International Airport in New Jersey. The suspension will last through May 4th. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. EASA has granted CS-23 certification to Elixir Aircraft for its 100-horsepower VFR aircraft. The certification was awarded on March 20th under the new Amendment 5 rules, which reflects the highest level of safety currently possible. In announcing the achievement, Elixir Aircraft CEO Arthur Leopold Lager said it came while the production team is on short-term leave and the sales and support employees are working remotely. Although it is hard to rejoice when our entire planet is fighting an invisible enemy, we should look back to fully appreciate how far we have come since our first certification meeting with the team of European Agency in charge of the certification on January 24th of 2017, he stated. 
Leopold Lager also claims the Elixir is the only modern light aircraft in the world, designed from a blank sheet of paper, to have obtained its certification following the latest amendment of the most rigorous category, CS23, and doing this with safety objectives regularly exceeding the certification objectives. The new leadership team at Thrush Aircraft reported a very strong first quarter as the first three months of the new year drew to a close. In addition, Thrush added additional staffing and capabilities during this time to support further growth in the year ahead. The company's 2020 order book so far includes some 17 aircraft for both spray and firefighting operations, including Thrush 510Ps, 510Gs, and 710Ps destined for customers in the United States, Canada, and overseas. Several of these aircraft are expected to be delivered over the next 30 days, as the first quarter of the new year comes to an end. Thrush has more than doubled the number of team members in production services at the factory, while adding some critical new hires on the sales and support sides as well. Despite the challenges every new organization experiences, our sales, support, and production teams here in Albany and around the world have more than risen to the occasion, and I cannot be more proud of all they have accomplished, nor more excited about all that is to come, said Mark McDonald, Chief Executive Officer of Thrush Aircraft. And that wraps up our show for today. Don't forget to click subscribe and to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. For more aviation and aerospace news any time of the day, head over to aero-news.net. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.